In this video, we're covering a whole bunch of string functions. All right, so let's get into it. And I am using the Northwind database, link in the description below if you need this database and want to run similar queries to me. And I'm just going to do a basic select query right now. Select all from suppliers. So here's our full suppliers table and all their information. And we're going to mess with some of the strings that are in this table. And as a side note, I'm only going through a handful of string functions. There are more than what I'm about to show you out there. So I'll have a link to a website below that lists out a bunch of string functions, or you can Google string functions. And hopefully in watching this video, you'll see kind of how string functions work and you could apply whichever string function you need to whatever string you're trying to apply it to. All right, so anyway, let's get started. So the first one I wanna show you is car length or char length, char length, oh, length. And this stands for character length. So it's gonna give us the number of characters in a string. So let's just play with contact, contact name, F5. And so boom, there's a list of the lengths of characters for our contact name, and we throw a contact name in there as well. And one thing to note is care length, car length, char length, however you want to call it, does include or count all characters, spaces, and other punctuation, commas, apostrophes, things of that nature. It's going to count those in the length. So that's how care, char length works. Pretty, it could be handy depending on whatever situation you're working on. Uh, the next one on the cover is left left and this works by plugging in the string that you want to go ahead and uh, perform the function on and then you need a number here and so we'll just throw a five in there real quick and execute it and you can see right here what this function does is basically starts on the left side and goes over however many characters you put in here so we got uh, Charlotte Cooper is left as Charles one, two, three, four, five, and Shelly is left as Shell, and Regina is left as Regin, and so on. So if you have like a limit to the number of characters somebody can have, you could go ahead and use the left function in order to just use, you know, the five characters or whatever your limit is uh, for that particular, that field or whatever. Conversely, there is a right function as well, which of course starts at the right side of the string and counts backwards whatever number you have in this second location here. So right now we got five, but we could throw in 10 if we wanted to. And you can see that it goes back 10 characters then. So that's the left and right fields. Again, depending on what you need, could be helpful in getting the data that you need. Now the next string function I wanna show you is position, which can be very helpful and it's used to locate the position of a character in a string. So let's do pose this position and we'll, we're going to look for a space in contact name. We'll delete this number out here. So that's how this works. You put whatever character you want here and then in, or it could be a, a string as well. You could put a series of words in here if you want to as well uh, to locate. Um, but I'm just doing a space in contact name. So basically what I'm trying to do is find the space between the first name and the last name. So we got F5, and you see right there, so the space is at uh, uh, position 10, the space here is at position 8, position 7, and so on. Uh, so with this, we can do some other cool stuff. For example, like if we do want to separate first and last name, we could go ahead and do that now using our left and right functions. So let me show you. So for first name, we could do left, and then contact name. And then remember the next uh, piece of information we enter into this function is a number. And in this case, we could enter the position of our space, right? So we wanna do left all the way through to our space and go like this. And I'll give it, a, give it a, an alias as first name. We'll run that real quick. So there we go, we got a field with Charlotte here Shelly, Regina, Yoshi. So it automatically adjusts to, you know, f land on their first name. And then alternatively, we could set one up for their last name. So right, and actually let me just copy this essentially. It's basically the same thing. 
contact name, position, contains, blah, blah, blah. And then as last name, and five. And hmm, so it gave us something weird going on here. Uh, like we got TTE, Cooper, EY, Burke. And that's kind of because we, we kind of set this up incorrectly. We do the position. So we'd get the first name quite easily, but then it's gonna give us the same number of characters of the first name as the last name. And so that's where we're running into an issue here. So what we could do is include the char length, length function, contact name minus like the first name, right? So run it like that. And now we have Charlotte Cooper, she Shelley Burke, Regina Murphy, Yoshi Nagasi, and so on. So that's how you can get really creative in cutting and slicing and dicing all of your different strings up based off of, you know, left, right, character length, position, etc. You can do a bunch of different cool things with, with those functions. Now let's go ahead and wipe some of this out of here because we're getting a little crazy. So we'll wipe that whole section out of here and run it real quick. So back to simple contact name from suppliers. Let me actually do a select all real quick, F5. And let's, and the next function I wanna go ahead and show you is concat or concatenate. And basically it's a way for you to merge strings together into one long string. So let's say that we want to go ahead and merge the address, city, uh, region, postal code, uh, all together into one, one uh, column. We could go ahead and do that with concat. So let's go concat. And then we could type in address, city, region, postal, code, and we'll give it an alias as full address at five. And so just like that, we've combined all of the, the address information into one column. And you notice that it kind of looks a little funky, like we don't have spaces between the different information and that's okay. We can go ahead and just manually add that information. So we got ad address and then we want to throw in a space here. So I'll throw that space in there, comma, city, and then another space, region, and then another space, and postal code, run it again. And now we've got spaces in our string. And of course we could go ahead and like address city. And then if we wanted a comma here, we could go ahead and throw a comma in there. F5 and boom. So now we got commas or a comma in our address. So that's what concat does is it just merges your different strings together into one big long string. And you can of course, use the different columns you have or manually type some words in if you want to and run it like that. So now we got get a of this in every single address, which of course isn't helpful, but I'm just showing you an example of concat. All right, let's wipe this out real quick. We'll just go back to our select all. And the next function I wanna show you is lower. And what lower does is basically makes all the the characters in a string lowercase. So let's go with select lower contact name at five. And boom, just like that, we have it on all lowercase. And conversely, there is also upper. So if you want it in all uppercase, you could go ahead and use that function for accomplishing that task. Now this upper and lower can come in handy with doing your where clauses and your having clauses. Uh, so for example, let's do select contact name from suppliers where uh, there's a, a Y in it. For example, where contact name like Y at five. All right, so here's a, a list of all the individual suppliers with contact name that have a Y in them. Um, but one thing to note is there's a supplier, let's delete this out of here, F5, Yoshi here, he has a Y in his name and it starts with a Y, right? So it's a capital letter. So that's what I wanna point out is that this 
this statement here is case sensitive. So we're looking for lowercase y's in the name and Yoshi has starts with the uppercase Y, but we still want to include him. So this is where that upper lower combination could really come in handy. So we could do where lower contact name like Y, so it has a Y in it. And boom, just like that, we're now sh seeing Yoshi pop up here, and which is what we wanted. We wanted anybody that has a Y anywhere in their name, whether it's the first character, the last character, it's uppercase, lowercase, etc. We want them to pop up. So that's how you can use the upper lower besides of course making things uppercase or lowercase is it really helps you know with your 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 filters your where statements and where you're using like and everything so that way you're making sure that you're capturing all that information so that can be obviously very helpful so that way you're getting everybody and you don't leave yoshi out on the streets uh like begging for food or something like that all right, we got one more string function I want to show you, which is replace. And it's used to replace characters in a string. Let me do a, our basic select all statement. And let's say that for some reason, I want to go ahead and replace all the spaces in the contact title with nothing. I want to remove the spaces essentially. So I could do select replace and then the string, which is contact title. And I'm looking for the first um, argument we put in here is what we're looking for. And then we have what we want to replace it with. So basically I'm looking for spaces and I'm replacing it with no space. So if I run it, we should see our uh, titles here without spaces in, in them because it's looking for the space and essentially removing it. Or I could do hyphens if I wanted to and boom, just like that, all the spaces have been replaced by hyphens. So hopefully you can see how you could use this replace feature for modifying your strings to give the information that they need. All right, so we covered a lot of different string functions in this video. I hope it was helpful. Again, there's more string functions than this and I'll have a link to that down below. Or of course, Google is a thing if you need other functions that you don't think I showed you here. Um, and yeah, if you found this video helpful in any way, shape or form, I appreciate any likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And of course, I hope you have a great rest of the day.